Welcome back for day 28 of Pedal Steel Every Day. Today's practice is about understanding the differences between the six string guitar tuning and the pedal steel guitar tuning. The six string guitar is typically tuned in a series of ascending perfect fourths and one single major third. To be exact, from low to high, standard tuning is E, A, D, G, B, and E. This will be inverted for all you righties out there because I'm a lefty. This is essentially three intervals of a major fourth, E to A, A to D, D to G, followed by the major third interval, the G to B, then that last major fourth, B to E. For my non-musicians out there, when I refer to terms like third and fourth, those are references of where a particular note is in relation to what's called the tonic or the root note. So here, because the chromatic scale has 12 notes before the notes repeat, and we're starting with E as the root, the fourth from E is A. Additionally, a third up from G, including G, is B. This is how terms like major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, and major sixth, etc., are all used by musicians. They're all simply a reference of how far away a single note is from the tonic note. You might wonder why a guitar is tuned like this. The tuning is simultaneously musically convenient and it's physically comfortable for guitar players, and this is something that has developed over hundreds of years. The aim was to create a tuning that would ease the transition from fretting simple chords to playing simple scales, therefore minimizing hand movement. Tuning the third and second strings, G and B, to that major third interval made fretting much easier than continuing on that perfect fourths series, which would have resulted in the second string being tuned to C and the first string being tuned to F. Lowering what would have been that high F down a half step to E, return the interval from the first string to the second string to a perfect fourth. Avoiding tuning all of the strings to fourth intervals removes any sort of dissonance that would occur if you had a high F and a low E. Here's what that sounds like. Instead, with the current configuration, it sounds like this. The pedal steel, on the other hand, is tuned to what's called the Nashville Standard E9 tuning. There are other variations, for example, the C6, but my focus primarily is on the E9. The E9 tuning, also called the E9 chromatic tuning, is as follows. B, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, B, E, G sharp, D sharp, F sharp. Its primary purpose is to allow the performer to play a major scale without moving the bar using the A and B pedals and one of the knee levers. So instead of having to jump up every note, you can play all of that in one position, even without the bar. From what I can find, this tuning is essentially the best of all of the other tunings tried throughout history, and it's been tested. It comes out of trial and error by the best of the best players out there. If any of you out there play the pedal steel and know exactly why each of the 10 strings is tuned the way they are, let me know in the comments. It seems like all the information is buried in forums online, so it's kind of inaccessible sometimes. Special shout out to Jason in the Pedal Steel Guitar Forum because he gave me a way to remember the layout of the strings. So instead of the string pitches peaking towards the end of the string set, they tend to peak more towards the middle. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like. Also, if you're a fan of pedal steel guitar or a fellow player, an advocate for practicing every day, or just want to support the channel, check out my new pedal steel everyday merch. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. And as always, play every day.